Hey everybody, it's Alexis with Create Your Future. I am back with a brand new video. Happy Monday if you're watching this when it airs. Today, you guys, I have one of my most favorite success stories I've had in a while. A client of mine who went from breakup to makeup six hours after our session. If you are feeling um, questioning, doubting, wondering about your manifestation, about your specific person, let's turn that around and use this today as motivation. I am so proud of her. I am so excited for her. She is manifesting the relationship of her dreams and wrote in a great story. All right, before I get started, like always, please look for the links for booking one-on-one -on -one coaching, one-on-one -on -one hypnosis, which this client actually did both of those in the box below, um, as well as all of the links to my courses, pre-recorded hypnosis audios, if you're interested in those, are there as well as always. And thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Please say hi in the video. Let's talk about this um, super great story, turning it around, and a reminder that you can turn anything around. You can change anything in your reality based upon what you're thinking. Your thoughts create your creating your reality moment to moment. You are the one manifesting and creating your relationship. And I'm also going to talk about some common questions that I've heard from other videos, questions from people about manifesting in general. Um, and let's just talk about all of that today. Okay. So before I go into the client success story, let's talk about her background and about what had happened. So she, in this session, this was her second or third session with me. The first session or one of the first that we did was hypnosis. Um, and we, this time we're reframing and focusing on a relationship that he had said he was getting cold feet. He wasn't sure if he was ready. Um, and he was mimicking, I want to point out too, he was mimicking what past people and past guys had said. So she was sad. She was feeling devastated. She was feeling like it wasn't going to happen. She was feeling like giving up. She was thinking that they weren't ever going to be together. Okay. And I said, no, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. None of it dictates what's actually going on. Let's just think of it that he got cold feet, et cetera. Let's get back in the game. Let's get back focused. Let's get more empowered with our thoughts. And I gave her a list of intentions. Okay. So if this is you today, if you're questioning, if you're doubting, if you're wondering, if you're having thoughts of what's happening in my relationship, what's going on with us, who am I, who is he, who are they, who is she, let's get back and focus on what you want and living in the end, yes, of being in the relationship now, that it's all working out better than ever and that also focusing on what is going on, okay? So we want to do both. If you are feeling like you are consuming a lot of content, getting very anxious, like I've had a lot of people writing comments about how to manifest. I'm going to tell you that the clients that have manifested their ideal relationships have had thoughts of already being in the relationship and focusing on what is going on now. What is the version of the person that I'm accessing? Who are they? How am I choosing to focus on them? How am I choosing to think about them? Remember that your thoughts create the decision that you hold within you creates the story of the person, the story of the whole deal that you're running in your mind and about anything, there's something on my computer, is what is going on and creates it all, okay? So that's the bottom line, my, my final thoughts. And they're always my same thoughts. I always say the same thing. I've said the same thing for years in all of my videos that your thoughts create how you describe people, who you hold the people to be inside of you is how you manifest, it does create your reality. What you're thinking, what you're holding on inside of you manifests from your subconscious mind. It projects into your reality, okay? Another way to look at it is that the thoughts that you think in the front of your mind go to the back of your brain and they project out into, the re into your reality with your reticular activating system um, if that helps you understand what's actually going on. The thing is this, you guys, what you're focusing on is what manifests. What you're thinking, where you're putting your energy on, where you're putting your focus is what creates out there. So we really want to get, first of all, clear on what we want, clear on how do we want this to go, clear on what am I creating within me? Now, I'm not saying to over-focus on the how of things, how things come about, um, how your universe delivers the end result to you. I'm not saying that. I am saying to simply focus on how am I describing my relationship? How am I describing myself and my relationship? Who am I 
And the whole deal, the whole scenario, like I had this client really focus back on self-empowerment, confidence, focusing on her thoughts that she can do this, that she's the center of her relationship, that this is her relationship, that she is being chosen. She is being sought after. She is being loved. She is being adored. We are in the best relationship ever. Okay. You got to do that. You have to do both. Now I did have a, um, subscriber, write a comment in one of my videos that he was getting overwhelmed by different manifestation stuff out there saying end scenes, all the things we've heard about how to manifest your reality. Okay. Now I'm versed on all of it and I've studied all of it. The thing that I know without a shadow of a doubt is that your thoughts create your thoughts, create your state, your thoughts, create imaginal scenes, your thoughts get you into a place to think appropriately of what you want. If you are doing an imaginal scene or something like that, the thing is this, out of all the hundreds of people that I have talked to over all the years that I've coached about relationships, there has not been one person, you guys, that has done some far in the future imaginal scene and then not had to monitor, monitor their thoughts. And then it happened. Usually the, the reason why love and relationships is a little bit different. Well, but if you have blocks or issues with like money and you're manifesting money or whatever it is, Love and relationships for a lot of people bring about a lot of issues from um, not being lovable, not being likable, relating to things how they were before. I've said this in like all my videos. OK, but that's why we need to monitor our thoughts and do the appropriate mental diet of living in the end of what you want and then creating what's going on now. OK, now. Let me get to the success story and it will give me a jumping off point about all the other information. All right. Hi there. I'm excited to share my success story after my session with Alexis. When we spoke last week, I told her about an SP who I had met a month prior. We had gone on many dates and seemed to be moving in the right direction to commitment. I explained how he had cut things off and said he wasn't sure if he wanted this anymore. And I was devastated. I was also triggered from a past SP who had seemed to run when things got tough and abandoned me in the relationship. Side note, Alexis also helped me move on from that past SP that wasn't serving me anymore via hypnosis. And I can't thank her enough. In our session, she helped me understand where my thoughts and insecurities were coming from related to my current SP and my past. We even dove into my childhood experiences that had influenced some of my programming related to relationships. She helped me put together tailored affirmations and I really felt like she understood me and was able to get right to the root of where my thinking needed to be to shift my situation. It's as if she's inside my brain. This is something I really appreciate about Alexis specifically, as I've never had a coach be so in tune with where I'm at emotionally and with my thoughts in order to pull me out of my state of lack. All that to say, I left the session with Alexis feeling motivated. I wrote out all the affirmations on a Word doc and recorded my mantra on the app Parrot. I played it any chance I could get the rest of the afternoon and really tried to soak in my new story. To my disbelief, my SP texted me that night, that night and it's in all caps, and explained how he screwed up big time. He was so sorry it took him so long to realize this, parentheses two days, but felt like an eternity to me. Um and parentheses, and that he needed to come over and talk right that second. He showed up with flowers and apologized for being unsure about us. And he asked me to be his girlfriend right on the spot. I was shocked. He even mentioned that around lunchtime, he considered just showing up to my apartment unannounced and professing his love. His words, I don't think that it's a coincidence that around lunchtime that day I met with Alexis, thought transmission is real. I'm so happy with my success that literally came in six hours I met with Alexis. She is magic. I will continue meeting with Alexis regularly for support on building the strongest relationship with my SP. On our session today, we even talked about how my SP will want to move in with me before my lease is up in a year. And I believe it. Anything is possible with Alexis's help. Alexis, thank you so much. Love you, girl. Can't wait to see what we can do together. Okay. So you guys, yeah, thought transmission is real. Your thoughts create end of story. Bottom line, you've got to be thinking of what you want. You have to be thinking of the appropriate thoughts for it to occur um, in your reality. All right. So the other thing I want to point out too about the questions about, you know, the parrot app, um, affirmations, uh, visualizations, et cetera, is that there are 
different things for different people. So as much as in like, you know, I just said in this video, there has not been one client who's done a visualization or an end scene that I have coached that then like they get married or something that we haven't had to also do a mental diet. If you are a visual person, then just like this client, she is an auditory person. She likes to hear things. We had talked about this in her session that she learns through hearing. So therefore the parrot app works for her. The parrot app doesn't work for everyone. Um, scripting doesn't work for everyone. Seeing a visualization of your affirmations doesn't work for everyone. You want to figure out, you guys, what works for you, right? So if you're consuming a lot of content and you feel anxious and you feel like you have a lot of questions about manifesting, start trying things out, seeing what you get results with, what clicks with you, what resonates with you, what gives you an aha moment, what helps you feel like you're in the best state ever, because that's the whole point of this. Okay. But from my experience and to answer some of these questions is that there has not been anyone who hasn't had to do some kind of thought control. You can't allow your mind to run all the automatic thoughts during the day about love, about relationships, about your person, and then therefore expect it to change. Your reality is based upon, again, what you're thinking. And like, I'm oftentimes having to tell people this in session, like multiple, 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 multiple times. I have talked about having a gavel. Today, I actually have two hairbrushes. You guys know that I always have makeup and stuff around my, my desk. I'm always like, you know, we can't be thinking that, right? We can't be thinking that. And we can't be out thinking or thinking either. Okay. So if you are, um, if you've been affirming and you're not getting results, perhaps you want to think about tailoring the affirming to living in the end. We are in the best relationship ever. He is apologizing. He is coming to me and telling me what I want to hear. We are getting back together. He is pushing this forwards for us. That is similar to what I had her do. This is just like an out there idea. Okay. Now, if you're wondering, and if you're thinking, does an apology come from the place of lack? No, not really. But you want to think about what is going to move this forwards. And what do I really want? What's my true desire, right? Like with this client, she really wanted him to apologize. No, she was the one want to move it forwards. No, he made a huge mistake. And we had talked about that. So she affirmed it. You guys, six hours later, he came to her place with flowers. If this isn't evidence that your thoughts create and everyone's you pushed out and that you're manifesting your reality like that, I don't know what is. Okay. But it was when we began to talk about it and she began to get her confidence. She felt better. She was feeling more empowered. She was on track. Okay. So she wasn't in the place of still being devastated, still being sad and still thinking this can't happen. This is never happening. This is et cetera. If she had still been thinking this, this wouldn't have manifested. It's obviously not a coincidence. Okay. So yeah, bottom line, you guys, your thoughts create and your thoughts transmit, your thoughts relate to your reality. So you can do all the things, right? This is why I think it's great to kind of figure out what works for you. Because as much as she did the Parrot app, I still told her we need to affirm, we need to be thinking, these are the thoughts. If you're doing visualizations, you still have to be changing and thinking, you're thinking, affirming for what you want living in the end of the desire, having just thoughts of the end while affirming for what you want now. Okay. So, so bottom line, like that's it, you guys, you really want to change your thoughts, think the same thoughts consistently, keep it as simple as possible and make sure that you are thinking of all three areas, you, who you are in the relationship, what's happening in the relationship and then like what is he she what are they doing right that's it that's the place to focus now if you find yourself um and like i want to point out too that this client she had talked to people about what she didn't want she was devastated she was sad she told people and that didn't matter so oftentimes people can think like oh i've told everybody this is so bad i'm gonna hear about it from everybody i've messed it up no, you haven't. She didn't either. And then everybody was really happy for her. The funny thing, because I met with her a week later when she told me her, her really, really quick success. Um, I said, okay, so what did everyone say? She said, oh, everyone said that they knew he was going to come back. So because she changed, everyone changed. That is the interesting thing about your quantum energetic reality. The moment you begin to change, then like everyone changes too, right? Because you change your thoughts of you, you change your thoughts of other people, right? But it's not to say, that the world is mirroring you, 
I'm not saying that. I'm saying that other people are reflecting who you think them to be, right? So somewhere along the way, she changed. Like I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this differently, and then everyone else is thinking it differently too. So it was like a no brainer. So like if you've gone through a breakup, just like she had, it was a full blown breakup. There was no communication. Um, and she turned it around. If this is you, no matter when that breakup was, you have to know that you can turn it around and you can change it. It's your reality. You are the only one that has the true ultimate power in your reality vis-a-vis -vis your mind, your thoughts, and creating it. So let's start off today. Let's start off the week being focused, being empowered, thinking if she can do it, I can do it. If she can use the power of her mind, I can use the power of my mind. I just need to think the right thoughts. And guess what? We are getting back together better than ever. We are getting back together better than ever. He's telling me everything I want to hear. I'm getting the apology. This is all working out for me. I am doing this. Okay. You guys, you can do this. You can do this. Okay. So if you're feeling doubtful and if you're questioning, if you're wondering, whatever, et cetera, et cetera, let's just get out of this, out of that. Focus on what you want and you can be the next success story. Okay. Cause that was also um, something that she had wanted. She wanted to be a success story. And that day, the day that she, she got my sticker, cause I had found like a bunch of stickers that I got as I, I often put stickers on client notes when they are a success story or something big happens. And I had this huge, like, um, flying, elephant unicorn sticker that she got. And I said to myself in the morning, someone special is going to get this sticker. Okay. So you guys, please know that your thoughts create, let's get out of confusion, get out of feeling overwhelmed, get out of, I can't do this. What is going on? I'm so sad, etc. Feel your emotions and then get back on track. This is my loving way of kicking you in the butt. Okay. If that's what you want today, obviously that's part of this video. All right. So I believe in you guys. Um, and let's get on the right mental diet on the right focus. If you need help and you are feeling devastated again, the links are booking one-on-one -on -one coaching hypnosis. They are in the box below. I'm here to help you. And if you want help navigating, like I did with her through childhood things, reframing it, getting into empower empowerment now as an adult, it's a thousand percent possible. We have to do that as conscious creators. We cannot allow the childhood story things that happened in past relationships run how we navigate through them. Now we want to develop complete emotional maturity, emotional acuity, having a new mind and new thoughts about what am I doing in my relationships? Who am I being now? You deserve it. You guys, you deserve to be happy, have fulfillment in your relationships, have fun. Um, you know, feel handsome, beautiful, sexy, hot. You can have it all, right? You deserve it, especially if you're watching this video. If you found this information, your time is now, all right? So have a great week, you guys. I love you so much. Let's really, really, really focus on she made this happen. I can do it too. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have an awesome week. Bye.